a hundred degrees. Yeah, it's like 105 degrees outside <laughs> today. I have this sweater on. Hey everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And Laura, guess what? What? It's Christmas. In July. Except it's Thriftmas <laughs> in July. That's fantastic. So today we are joining Nicole at Nesting Haven in her third annual Thriftmas in July collaboration. You got that all just exactly right. I didn't even fumble over my words. I'm so sorry we've missed the first and second annual Thriftmas. I know, but we haven't even been on YouTube for a year and so this is our first opportunity. That's right. So we're excited. Mm -hmm. So thank you to Nicole for hosting this collaboration and we're really excited excited to show you our haul. Yeah, I've been saving up and saving up some of these things you haven't even seen yet. Yeah, I haven't. So Laura has been, like she said, saving like on her trips to Goodwill or just random yard sales, wherever. She just like hoards her away her little Christmas <laughs> finds. She was saving it up all along. Yeah, we've been planning for this. Okay, so we're gonna show you some of the better items that we found and then we're gonna do just kind of an overall haul and some information at the end to show you some things that we found. That's right. Okay, so let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, so the first item that we have to show is this little pipe cleaner Santa. He is so cute. But they're not pipe cleaners, Mary Beth. Chenille stems. Yes. Right? Right. They look like pipe cleaners well, to me. If, if you're using them to clean a pipe, that's what they are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we always called them pipe cleaners when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we picked this up in a garage that we were thrifting through last year. Yes, and we put it away because I knew I knew this would come up. I knew that we'd have some sort of special Christmas something going on. Right, and we actually just sold him. Um, if you watched our live sale earlier this month, we um, sold this to Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. And so this is going to be on its way to Michelle. It'll probably already be in Michelle's hands once you see this video. That's right. So he's just a cute little guy. He's got little glitter all over him and these little candles. These, it's just adorable. I love it. And um, it, I think what makes him so different is the tree is kind of primitive looking because they use the bottle brush pieces. Like, you know, you usually have a bottle brush tree, but it's cone shaped like oh. all other Christmas trees. But they've made this one look really primitive because they've just used the pieces of the bottle brush and stuck them out everywhere in more of that primitive style. And you can kind of move them gotcha. and arrange them. They're cute. Cool. Yeah, I really like him. I think he's cool. So Michelle, I hope that you're enjoying this little guy. <laughs> Our next item is this cool 1969 little blow mold. Oh, is that for me? <laughs> <laughs> so this one wasn't exactly thrifted. So a lot of us were going through my grandmother's basement and just kind of going through some things that had been long forgotten. And this guy was down there and nobody really claimed him. None of my aunts or my dad, they didn't really want him. So I was like, I'll take him. So I think that this guy is gonna find like a permanent home with me here at my house. Maybe he could come visit me sometime. <laughs> So that's just kind of a, a heads up. You know, you don't always have to go thrifting at a yard sale mm -hmm. or the Goodwill. Maybe your family, maybe some family members of yours have some things down in their basement or in their attic that are long forgotten. So don't discard those ideas either. Mary Beth, he's so awesome. Did you say what the date was on him? Yeah, 1969. Oh, so cute. Isn't that great? Yes. I like him a lot. I love him. Laura, it's a pillow. Yes, Mary Beth, this is, you're not gonna like this. It's not really my style. No. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's not your style. Your style is cutesy, penguin, traditional. <laughs> Dinosaurs with Santa hats. Yes, exactly. Which is fun, that's great. But I think some people like to go elegant when they decorate for Christmas. Yes. So, this is a gorgeous angel. And um, the what I wanted to show you about that is it's needlepoint and I really do think it's hand done. I mean, you can just look at it and, and tell that it's not perfect, so it's hand done. Mm -hmm. Um, you asked me if, it, if somebody really stitched that or they didn't, but they right. did. And you really have, have to have done that before to appreciate how many hours is probably in this pillow. I it's, can't imagine. It's like our paint by number, you know, routine. You start one of these and you think it's not going to take that long and it's like, whoa. And this one I wanted to show you guys in particular and we can show some close-ups, but this one is a more valuable piece of needlework than normal because it has petty point. And that's that really tiny little stitching. Petty uh, point? It's called petty point. 
Okay. So it's like the French word petite is where that comes from. So petit point, P-E-T-I-T. Okay. P-O-I-N-T. Cool. And, and that's what you call it. And it's like that teeny tiny stitching right there where you need more detail, like in her hands and her face. And it just, the skill level is better if you can do that. And it takes more time and just more detail. So it's kind of more valuable. Cool. Yeah. And then, and I did get this at a thrift store, but it does zip on the back and the insert will come right out and you can replace it. So I wouldn't be afraid to use that at all. Great. Yeah. Laura's always teaching me something about, <laughs> would you say petty point? Yes. Yeah. Laura's always teaching me something. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, Laura teaches me and I'm very new to reselling. I'm very new to vintage and antique items. Laura's been sort of in the biz her whole life. <laughs> and so it's just a fun, collaboration. Yeah, my mom has an antique store. I worked with her for a long time while the kids were growing up and uh, well, I still do. And so it's fun. She knows way more than I do, but I cannot coax her onto camera. <laughs> so, but I do try. So. so if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. Okay. Good job, Laura. What do you have there, Laura? Okay. Now this one admittedly is nothing special. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just come across a piece that's too cute. I have just never seen a dancing Mr. and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> now, come on. You really can't beat that. <laughs> that is pretty adorable. It's pretty cute. It's made out of the composite kind of stuff. It's probably not vintage. I mean, it might be 80s. and I can't believe that that's vintage now. But um, when, when we do the piano hall, we've got a lot of little ones like this. So everybody has these sitting around. But I thought you guys might like to see this one or might be interested in this one because it's just so different. I've never seen one like that. He's cool. cute. Good job. Very nice. Okay, Laura, so I think for this part of the video, we'll just kind of briefly show and talk about everything else that we've got set up here on the piano. How does that sound? I love it. It's another piano hall. A piano hall. So I'll start up here with this guy. We found him thrifting in a garage, the same, the same place where we found that little guy right there <laughs> right that's right and he's kind of creepy he looks like he belongs in star wars to me yeah it's one of those things i can't tell if he's truly really old or if he was at one time made to look old but he was still vintage probably 70s or 80s even if that's the case the bottom of him the base is like some sort of terracotta which i feel like is kind of interesting yeah, it makes it, it weights him down so that he stands up good. Yeah, and he has little Chanel stem uh, candy canes in his little basket. Those are pretty cute. Look at this little guy. <laughs> He's contemporary and, um, you know, not vintage probably. He's probably, I think I looked up his date. It's like the 90s. Right. But he's super cute. He's just part of a little Christmas collection, cookie jar, cookie jars always make you think of Christmas anyway. So yeah. they put a little plaid bow on him. I think he'd be so cute. That's adorable. Okay, so you got lots of like little figurines here, Laura. Yeah, these are probably end up in our yard sale, Mary Beth. Okay. Um, but they were really, really, really cheap at a yard sale to begin with. Um, and so I just picked them up and I thought they were so cute, especially for our haul. We might have a viewer out here that wants to contact us about some of them. I like the first one a lot. He's kind of round. <laughs> oh yeah, he is pretty round. So as always, guys, if you're new, uh, if you ever see anything that you like, feel free to send us an email. And if, it, if it's still available on our end, we would be happy to uh, shoot you a price and, and let you know about it. Yeah, and if it's listed on eBay, we can direct you there to the eBay store. But most of the time, um, it <laughs> takes me a little while. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, we're not super on top of our eBay. No, are we? we're not. <laughs> that is, um, I think, called Little Folks. And oh, it's collectible. Isn't she cute holding that little lamb? Yes. And she's a little Goodwill find. And I looked her up thinking that she wouldn't be worth anything. But, you know, they're actually bringing about $15 or so. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So Laura, what about these glasses here? Well, I think they're super cute. Courier and Ives. Have you ever heard of Cur Courier and Ives prints and I've, things like that? I've not actually. It was that pioneer days kind of time frame and they made lots of prints and um, other things. And so this one is the joyous season, this okay. glass. And I picked them up at Goodwill and I think they're so pretty. Right. Um, and I think they will be collectible, but the whole set each one denotes a different season, I think. Oh. And I didn't realize that because when you look at them from a distance, they all look kind of the same. Yeah, they do. They look, you know, frosted and snowy. 
Mm -hmm. But, and I think they're meant, I guess they're meant to be that. But then each scene depicts something different. There's a sporting one and um, a country life one. That's cool. And then this one is the sledding one. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Nice, okay. Let's move onward. We already talked about our little friend here. So let's talk about this little wreath real quick. At, at first glance, it almost looks like a Dresden wreath, right? It does, right? And I think Guy was helping me shop and she was hoping to find one of those. But she picked this up anyway, because see, they're all bells. Oh, single bells. So that's cool. Yeah. They make great big ones, but. It's hard to kind of tell, but it's got that little metal, uh, excuse me, like goldish bow and ribbon on there. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. I liked it. Look at him. Oh, he is, I love him. I know you don't think of much of him, but he is a cute little bunny. And he is Fitz and Floyd. Yeah. Does he match this bowl? Hey, well, they didn't come together, but this is also a Fitz and Floyd bowl. Oh, they look like they so match each other. So aren't they cute? And look at this, I'm gonna show you something. Okay. Watch this. <gasps> you killed him. <laughs> he is just a little trinket box and I love him. Oh, he's got such a little festive collar on. I know. That's adorable. I love that. Are these ornaments? What do you have here? And these, these were awesome. Oh, I see what they are. These are a yard sale find. And look how festive they are. They're, they're like wine stoppers. They and they've are. Got, they've got like uh, glitter inside. You guys better watch out. When it's flipping and sipping time in December, <laughs> we're going to pop the bottles and put these in. That'd be good. Or we'll sell them to you guys if you want to do that. So, yeah, they're cool. cute. And then up here we've got another. Right, so we talked about our little blow mold. Yeah, there friend. he is again. Look at this. Is he a pitcher? Yeah, that's a really pretty Fitz and Floyd pitcher. So Fitz and Floyd, if you guys are not as familiar, um, has an F, two big capital F's on the bottom. That's how you know. And they still make it today. It's contemporary. Most of it's not vintage, but it's super collectible. People love it. Okay. Yeah, he's really nice. He's got a little teddy bear in his arm. And they make things other than Christmas, but they do a lot of Christmas. Okay, so I think that does it for everything here on the top of the piano. Then we've got a few things down here on the piano bench. So let me get down here. So Laura, we we did a little Christmas ornament haul in one of our flipping and sipping segments, right? Yes, you, you should link that down below. I will do that. So we, Laura, I say we, it was Laura, bought this huge tote at Goodwill for how much was it? $6.99. $6.99 it ended up having like over 160 ornaments in it. And so Laura went through and bagged some of the like items together. We've got large bags like this and then small bags like this. But look, there's like a kajillion bells in there. How many? Kajillion. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, these would be cheap. Like we're gonna put like at the yard sale, we'll put like four or five, like four dollars for a large bag and like two dollars on the small bag. Okay, yeah, so this does not even scratch the surface of how many ornaments we have. Yeah, so you guys email us if, if you saw any in that video that you liked because I put them all together, the ones that matched. Okay, now we've got a little plate here, right? Yes, and Mary Beth, I love that. I just found that at the Goodwill. Do you care to hold it up? Yeah. That way I can get a better shot of it. And it's heavy. And so one of the ways that you know you've got kind of a cool piece of pottery is one of the ways is by the weight and he has a lot of weight to him mm -hmm. um I, that's really all i know about him i don't really know anything but look you can just tell i just love the way that's made and it very well could be contemporary but it's still a nice piece i think yeah i like it you want me to show you the bottom sure. i don't think it's marked well it had a contemporary sticker at one time but it's still such a cute piece i agree good find yeah Okay, so what do we have here? Pampered Chef something? Yep, I found that at a yard sale. They are, there's four little dishes still in the box. Oh, Aren't they cute? They're just a little snack. Are they all the same print? Nope, they're all different. There they are on the front. Oh, I see. Cute. Yeah. So a set of four still in the box. That's a good one. Well, Let yeah. me shift over, I'm on my knees. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh, cookie cutters. Yes, aren't they cute? Little yeah. copper ones. You and I think, hold up one or two? And I think the copper ones are festive. And I mean, you could use these, but I think they're really cute for decorating. And the little holders, the little holders, you could make even a garland. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Aren't they cute? Very. And then 
these are just like some little contemporary mugs. I bought these because they're so big. They would be cute to put a gift in for someone. And I just love that oversized kind of mug. Me too. And then we talked about buying mugs with animals because people collect things and penguins are very popular. Very. So that's not the greatest mug, but he is a little penguin, so I thought he was cute. I picked him up. Okay, so that's gonna do it for our little piano haul. Great. So as always, we wanna thank everybody for watching this video and coming along with us on this Christmas haul. And we wanna give a special thank you and shout out to Nicole at Nesting Haven. Thank you so much for opening this collaboration. Thanks, and Nicole. And inviting us to join. It's been a really fun day. It really has. You know, you really don't uh, get your, get the opportunity to get your Christmas stuff out and I know. play and have decorations. Probably all my neighbors when I was grabbing all this Christmas stuff and bringing it into my house from my garage. <laughs> it's like, what on earth is she doing? It's 100 degrees. Yeah, it's like 105 degrees outside today. I have this sweater on. So what other excuse do you have during the summer to do these things? Right? It's been fun. It's great. So please like this video. Subscribe to our channel, guys, if you haven't already. We deeply appreciate it. Uh, comment below. We love to read and respond to your comments. And stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.